Hello everyone, with everything going on inside the game from the mining event to the arena, I almost have missed out on this soul stealing rose artifact. And if you go into the plant section for the eggs, you'll see a deal on the right hand side where you can get a source of venom with the soul stealing rose all in a combo. Now I know I just said don't spend money on the game, but here we are already putting money back in so I can make a video for you. But we're gonna go over it today, show you what this is all about, and show you the benefits of having this artifact. So this is an S grade artifact, meaning we're gonna get plus 10% attack and plus 10% HP. Not to mention, we will have this purple glow around us. I think it looks pretty cool. Now depending on which snake you throw it on, if you throw it on just a regular one or S grade, you're gonna be getting the last snake we'll get an extra skill when entering the boss stage. This isn't going to be just something when your other two snakes die that's going to pop up. This is strictly on chapters or as far as I know anywhere where we have a final boss. And you can see here just a little animation with it and select the skills. But when we throw this on Source of Venom you'll see here it now has a rosebud on the inside of our venom pool and when monsters go inside that they're going to be taking double the damage. Normally the poison is just going to be a base damage but in this situation we're going to be doing two times. Now the poison itself is going to tick about three times per second and that's going to be continuous because it is poison. The real power is going to come in whenever we go in with the Greenwood Archer on this. Just like the Greenwood Archer pairs with the Source of Venom, Source of Venom is now going to pair with the Greenwood Archer. And when we get these poison pools out there, you'll see one of these sentries itself move around and kill the enemies within the pool. The damage on that is going to be three times your base. It doesn't sound like a lot, but still, having a little bit extra in there just to get rid of these monsters. I mean, the poison pool is pretty big on its own. See, I figure between the poison and the sentry, we're doing about five times damage, which is pretty straightforward when we're going and having continuous damage. Now, the upgrade material on this is going to be totally different than the other two plant artifacts, so figure it's going to be a while before you see anything on this. But I'm curious to know, did you guys see this already and had already purchased it? If you guys didn't check out my mining guide from the other day, check out this video right up over here. Thanks for watching, and remember, I pick my butt.